Blonde, a biography drama film that is now streaming on Netflix. A lot of you guys have told me not to check out this film, that it completely sucks. Do I agree with you guys or do I think differently? Let's find out and let's dive into this. Blonde is a fictionalized chronicle of the inner life of Marilyn Monroe. The film stars Anya de Armas, Willie Fisher, Julianne Nicholson, Michael Dreyer, Sarah Paxson, Ryan Vinson, Vanessa Lemonides, Patrick Brennan, Rob Brownstein, and many more, and was directed by Andrew Dominique, who's also done the film Killing Them Softly, which I was not a fan of. So not even sugarcoating this, I was not actually looking forward to this film. A lot of you said that this film was really bad, and I have to agree, this film absolutely sucks. The only positive that I can really say about this film that I actually really liked was Ana de Armas acting. I thought she did a pretty good job as Marilyn Monroe. That's where my positives end for this film. The film is basically made up of a lot of made up kind of stories, what the director actually thought her life was like. It's based on this book, which has a lot of false information in it. And it also has a lot of weird kind of things in this film, like they actually have a color ratio cut to a black and white ratio, which will go back and forth and doesn't really have any rhyme or reason as to why it's doing it. And then you'll have other things in the film like her calling all her boyfriends daddy and she has all these daddy issues which is really weird and I don't really understand why they took that route because I don't think any of that is actually true. And the film is really over-sexualized. It's very distasteful. It's very disrespectful towards Marilyn Monroe. I was really pissed watching this film because I found that this film is mainly a bunch of bullshit. Like, this film doesn't seem like it represents Marilyn Monroe at all. I would honestly say that if you are going to watch this film, just know going into this film that probably I would say a good majority of this film is a bunch of bullshit. And it honestly isn't true of how Marilyn Monroe actually is as a person. If I was a family member and I watched this film about Marilyn Monroe, I honestly would be really pissed because I don't think it actually represents her as a whole. Did she have some problems in her life? I would say yes. I wouldn't be surprised if she had some family problems and certain things going on in her life that, you know, wasn't always sunshine and rainbows, but which one of us in our life doesn't have some type of problem going on in the background? I just felt that this film, it really tried to be really much a drag. It was very depressing. The film didn't even need to be three hours. It drags on and on and it's just really a bore to watch after a while. It tries to be very artsy and a lot of weird kind of artsy kind of shots and it makes Marilyn Monroe to be some kind of demon. This film is really an embarrassment for Marilyn Monroe. I really think the author that wrote this book didn't really like Marilyn Monroe. He made up all this false information and put it on screen and shame on Netflix for actually taking on this project and putting crap like this on their platform and sharing it with everybody. Marilyn Monroe is an icon and this is not how anybody would actually remember her. I don't think that anybody really could actually take a look at this film and be like, yeah, this is a work of art. This is great. This is how her life actually was. It's made up crap. It honestly is crap. This is the kind of stuff to just try to get views. I also heard that the director or the book writer or somebody like that had some actual fantasy attraction to Ana de Armas and they wanted to actually have her naked as much as possible in this film. I don't know if it's true, but it wouldn't surprise me because Ana de Armas is naked a lot in this film and it just doesn't really feel like art to me. There's also an agenda of abortion in this. There is a part where they have Ana de Armas talking to a fetus that was apparently aborted and basically the fetus is telling her you know don't abort me and this and that and I was just like what is this this is crap this is a political agenda here this film was really tough to really even get through it just dragged on and on and on my wife she watched a little bit of this film with me but she ended up tapping out this film it's just very mature it's very dark it's very gray there really isn't any happiness in this film, and I just feel the way they painted the picture of Marilyn Monroe in this. It just feels all made up. I just don't feel like majority of the information in this film is actually factual, so I would advise not to watch this film. One other positive that I will say about this film that I just did remember is they do show some scenes from her other movies, from some of her older movies that she actually acted in. And I did like to see that on screen and it did make me want to watch some of her older films. And if you really want to learn about Marilyn Monroe, 
I would suggest watching a different documentary or a different film. I would give a score of this film a one out of five. Skip it, but let me know down in the comments. Did you enjoy this film? Do you think that I'm really overreacting on my rating for this film? And if I am, I'm just curious what made you actually like this film. But thank you guys for watching this review, and I'll see you guys on my next review.